this is Amy with Sharky's Floral and Greenhouses. Today we're going to talk about this cute little blooming plant. It's called a Kalanchoe, or as we know it around here, Kalancho. You see them all over the place and they're given as a lot of gifts, so you might have received one. They're part of the succulent family, so we're going to treat it more like a succulent rather than a blooming plant. Even though it blooms out these gorgeous, this one has a ruffled white, but they come in pinks, yellows, oranges, all different colors. Um, so let's go over the basics. We're going to go over the light, the temperature, the water, and the care of it. So first off, the light of it is going to be bright light. A southern window is great. Just don't have it sitting in the direct sunlight because it'll burn the leaves. Um, so a bright indirect light um, and that plant will just flourish. Number two, the watering. You're only going to water this like once every week and a half. You don't want to drown it. it. It's okay if it goes a little bit on the dry side. It's part of that succulent family. Uh, if you water too often, what's going to happen is you're going to see that the leaves will start getting black spots in them. And what that is, is the cells in the leaves actually are trying to, they're absorbing so much water that they're, they're exploding and then they're causing what we would know as a bruise. Um, and it's not going to repair itself. So you're going to, if that happens to you, go ahead and take that leaf right off. It's not going to repair itself. It's just like a bruise for us, but a little bit more detrimental to the plant. Um, temperature, you're going to keep it at a regular household temperature, somewhere between that 65 to 80. I know 80 seems really warm for a household temperature, but if it's sitting in, the, in that southern window, it might get quite warm. You don't want to have it freezing. You don't want to have it so hot that it's cooking. So somewhere right in between there. The soil is going to be a soil mixture between that's well drained. So a cactus mixture along with potting soil. You don't want a real heavy where it retains a lot of the moisture. You want it to drain off. It, it wants to have dry roots. Um, and if it starts getting too dry, you'll see the leaves just get real wimpy looking. And at that point, you'll know to give it a little bit more water than what you've been giving it before. So these blooms are beautiful, but they don't last forever, just like any blooming plant. So there is a cleanup, a care to it that we need to do. First off, when you get your plant, if it is in this papery foil, I personally would take that foil right off and put a tray underneath it or transplant it into a pot. The reason being is there's nowhere for that moisture to go. So the, paper, the plastic foil on here is going to retain the moisture and it will actually sit down there in water. And, and what do we know? The roots like to be a little bit on the drier side. So go ahead and take that off and put a tray underneath it or really watch your watering on it. So let me show you how to clean up the blooms once they're done and expired. Um, we're going to pinch them all the way back down to the main stem and we're going to clip that off. And what's going to end up happening is it's going to look like this, just a solid green plant. Let me show you. So you can see I'm going in and I'm following that stem down because these are all done blooming and I'm clipping it right above the next sturdy set of leaves. I'll show you one here. You can see there's another set up here, but if I clip here, it's gonna have new growth and it's gonna be kind of gangly looking. So I like to go a little bit further into the plant where it's a little bit more sturdier of an area. And just go along and take out any dead blooms or expired blooms and prune it back. You're really not going to hurt the plant at this point, but you can see that it's healthy and we're just taking those expired blooms off. So now that our plant's all cleaned up and ready to go into a new growth cycle, we of course want to fertilize it with the Beat Your Neighbor fertilizer and do that once a month to help promote that growth. You're going to slide the plant out of the planter and you're going to put it into a bigger pot because it probably has outgrown this pot by the time it's done blooming. So it doesn't have to be quite this big. You can do a decorative pot, um, but go ahead and replant that in that mixture that's very well drained. So a little bit of a cactus mix 
mixed or a succulent mix would work along with some potting soil. So it's kind of a half and half mixture. Plant that in, put it back in that sunny area. And after you fertilize it, give it some water, enjoy it as a nice green succulent plant and then wait to watch the new shoots come out and they will start blooming normally in about four to six weeks. Be sure to check out the other how-to videos, plant care, and behind the scenes in the greenhouse. Give us a like, a thumbs up, and subscribe to this channel. Also, check out BeatYourNeighbor.com. This is our own private blend of fertilizer. Along with the fertilizer, there's other products you can see on our website also. Again, that's BeatYourNeighbor.com. Have a great day.